In this course, we'll be first of all introducing ourselves to Python, then we'll see how we can download and install Python on Windows. After that, we'll be covering how to work with an IDE like Visual Studio Code Editor. Then we'll have an overview of Python where we will be covering the Python syntax, comments, blocks, string formatting, variable scope and blocks, conditionals, loops, functions, classes and objects. Then from there we'll be diving into the details like types and values where we'll be having an introduction of the data types that are there in Python, string formatting, numeric types, boolean types, list tuples and dictionary, type and IDs of items in tuple and lists. Then we'll have conditionals where we'll be reviewing the conditional operators and ternary operators and then we'll have operators like arithmetic, bitwise, comparison, boolean and we'll also look into operator precedence. Next we have loops where we'll be covering the while and for loop and we'll also cover keywords like continue, break and else. After that we'll be taking a look at functions, what exactly functions are in Python, what is called by value and called by reference, argument list, keyword arguments, return values, generators, wrappers and decorators and much more in functions. Next we have data structures where we'll be covering list and tuples, dictionaries, sets, list comprehension and we'll also look into mixed data structures. Then we have classes. We'll see how we can make use of class constructors, how we can override certain methods, what is inheritance, how we can inherit one class from the other and then we'll also look into iterators then we'll see how we can handle exceptions in Python and after that we'll be taking a look at string objects and file handling we'll be looking into how we can work with files as well as binary files binary files usually include anything which is not text for instance images etc then we'll be covering some common methods which are usually used with numeric functions, string functions, container functions and objects and classes. And we'll see what exactly modules are in Python, how we can use existing modules which Python offers and how we can create our own custom modules and use it in our Python script. Then we'll be covering working with databases where we'll see how we can connect with SQLite as well as MySQL database. So get ready to learn Python essentials and become a pro in Python.